Hi everyone, just a quick note to let you know that I'm going to be doing this teardown in several parts since it took several hours over several days. So we're going to start out with the top part of the copier which is the lid. So enjoy. And this is the first board that I found which is just some adjustment pots under a panel on the lid. And the first little bit of engineering in this thing, uh, pretty much everything that moves or rolls is on these metal shafts and they have little um, clip pins or clip rings that hold everything together. And here's just a quick look inside the auto document feeder. I'll get into more of how it works later when I actually tear it all the way apart. As you can see here, pretty much every latch, door, what have you on this thing has either magnets or switches to uh, let the machine know that it's either opened or closed. Okay, so the part that I'm taking off um, here now is another part of the auto document feeder. It, when you put a piece of paper in the top, um, the where I zoomed in before, that sucks the paper in, and then that roller drags the paper being copied across the little optical sensor so that it can actually scan the paper and then spits it back out at the top and um, what I'm showing here now is that these have all been repaired it looks like with electrical tape so kind of real hack job repair Okay, I'm pretty sure all that I was showing there was just a little plastic uh, roller that was part of the mechanism. So in this arm we've got a little optical encoder wheel that just counts the number of revolutions that the motors have done and a little switch that some repair tech decided to make always on by wrapping it with electrical tape and here we've got some uh, looks like a control board for all the various motors
here we have the main drive motor for the auto document feeder. What sucks sucks it from the feed tray on top and then down through over the scanner and then back up. A couple different um, 24 volt DC motors, AX060082B and the um, drive reduction uh, gearing so that it runs at a constant speed so that the photocopier can tell exactly where each piece of the um, paper is at any given time. And then here, um, something I'm sure we've all heard when we use a photocopier. It's a 24 volt DC solenoid. Just whenever anything moves and you hear that clunk, that's uh, what's making the sound. Okay, this section of um, taking apart the lid is not very interesting, but it's a whole lot of work. There's lots of very small screws. There's lots of those um, retaining, they're almost like uh, three-quarter moon retaining clips that go over just about every steel shaft in the photocopier and uh, most of them at multiple points at the very least at the front and you know at each end of the shaft and so what you saw right there is I got the um, the lid completely detached from the hinges and I'll go ahead and stick in a picture of the hinges real quick. So these are just some really, really beefy hinges to hold the lid up. So anybody that's watched the control panel teardown video, which was a couple of videos previous to this, should recognize this. I thought it was just such a nice little compact unit that I would save it for its own little mini teardown. So if you haven't seen that, um, I invite you to go back and watch that now. So this last section I decided to uh, speed up quite a bit as well because it's mostly just the disassembly of um, the rest of the gear train and um, motors and various feeder rollers, etc., in the auto document feeder, paper handling, and everything that's all contained within the lid. And I just want to go ahead and note that I am responsibly um, scrapping this as I go along, so everything that is metal. Um, will be recycled as metal, all the plastics going to a separate bin to be recycled, and of course I'm taking the electronics to play with myself. And then as we come to the very end, um, just a little better look at the hinges. That they weren't actually held on with all that much, even though the lid is uh, pretty heavy. That slide bolt at the bottom clips in, and then there was another screw that bolted it to the top of the chassis, and that supports all that weight for the lid. But it does have some very heavy duty springs in it. I'd like to leave you with a little preview of the next video. This is the scanner base where all the document scanning is actually done. So, as always, thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comments down below. See you next time.